Good evening and welcome. Let's take a look at the top story that we are tracking for you. The United States is now doubling down to protect university research from China. A U.S. National Security Commission has recommended that American universities must take steps to prevent sensitive technology from being stolen. Now, this comes as concerns grow over the security of academic research. Many fear that sensitive technology could be stolen by the Chinese military. The recommendation comes as the U.S. pushes ahead with the prosecution of at least five Chinese researchers arrested last year. Now, these researchers were arrested across U.S. cities on charges of visa fraud for not disclosing ties to the Chinese military. While the universities are cooperating with the authorities on the investigations, China has denied allegations that it was trying to steal U.S. research. The cases are part of the U.S. Department of Justice's so-called China Initiative. The initiative was launched in 2018 to counter China's national security threats. Now, according to the National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence, recommendations will require more disclosure on research funding and partnerships at universities. It also proposes creating a database of individuals and entities to flag risks in advance. The NS uh, CAI has led uh, by former Google chairman Eric Schmidt is set to vote on Monday on its final report to Congress. Now for more on this, we are being joined by our correspondent Susan Tehrani from New York. Good evening to you, Susan. Now we know of at least five Chinese researchers uh, who have been arrested from various universities in uh, the U.S. last year and now a National Security Commission is scheduled to submit a report to prevent sensitive technology from being stolen by Chinese military. What details can you share with us? Yeah, you know, this is really a sign of growing concern over the security of academic institutions. And it's in, and these arrests that you mentioned are in line part of the Department of Justice's China Initiative, which was launched in 2018 during the Trump administration to really try to counter uh, China's national security threat to the United States, which has been ongoing with cyber attacks. Now, along with those five individuals, we have learned throughout the years, notably after 2017 and 2018. Uh, that Chinese academic researchers had gone to, two of them, uh, had gone to a military base in Florida and had started taking photographs despite being told that they're not allowed in. They sort of snuck in. And then prior to that, a few months before that, two other Chinese uh, nationals who were students here in the United States, university students and researchers, also did the same thing at military installations. So you see that this is something that's been uh, ongoing in academia. And, you know, you mentioned uh, in detail that they want to create a database on individuals and entities, uh, and they want to have more uh, oversight and disclosure on research and funding. Uh, but the main aspect of this is really to see what individuals and entities are associated with China's Defense Department, considering the fact that many of China's universities and academic institutions are openly uh, affiliated with the Def Defense Department. However, there are many that we don't know about. Many are not disclosing whether they're associated um, with the Chinese military or not. So that's that's the major concern here. And um, also definitely, you know, in the broader picture to counter Xi Jinping's uh, geopolitical Chinese dream, a sort of not so subtle nod to the American dream of uh, pursuing its position in the world uh, by all means. And this was, this was something that was happening prior to COVID. I think as we take the lens back and look at a post-COVID world, um, you see that these actions perhaps are being taken more aggressively to take advantage of the situation that liberal democracies are perceived as being in, taking care of their uh, populations, trying to come up with vaccines, but on the other hand, you know, having to deal with the soft power and hard power that tr China tries to impose in the situation that we are right now. So I think a lot of this commission's uh, report on artificial intelligence has to do with where we are right now and the threat that China poses, not only here in the United States, 
States, but around the world. I mean, Allison, you remember that it was just not, it was in 2018, the Wall Street Journal reported uh, the Chinese hackers were hacking universities like MIT, uh, University of Pennsylvania, and more than two dozen universities and academic institutions here in the United States, in Europe and East Asia. And so just on, that, on that, the cybersecurity breaches are something which some countries are understood to use for ulterior motive. How real and pervasive is the Chinese threat, according to the U.S. administration and experts? I think the United States is watching China very closely. Um, the Trump administration's initiative of the China initiative in 2018, uh, it was launched because it deemed China as a cybersecurity threat. Uh, it's usually China and Russia. But I think it's important to note that the, uh, the Biden administration, albeit trying to uh, take a step back to many of Donald Trump's policies, it went along with this initiative to um, charge these individuals and take other actions against China. Uh, whether or not China is underestimating America's uh, liberal democracy capabilities and how it can counter China uh, is yet to be seen. And whether or not the Biden administration will be aggressive enough in its other uh, approaches in different departments uh, with China, once again, is yet to be seen. But for now, uh, the United States is looking at China as a national security concern. And while um, the question uh, before the Biden administration was what would be America's greatest threat, and uh, the follow-up to that would be, is it China? And if we responded by saying it's America's national security first and foremost, then we would have to add uh, that China and hacking and uh, you know going into these universities is part of it. And just one final note, if you're wondering how university is, are, are universities are reacting, I talked to one university official here in the United, uh, here in New York City uh, prior to our discussion, and he said that it's a welcome blueprint, considering the fact that academic institutions really don't have the resources to know when their information is being stolen until it's too late, or they hear it on the news, or, or there's headlines that are making that are be being made. So that's something to look out for as well. The welcome. Susan, thanks very much for bringing us all the latest there. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.